Hello, thank you for joining me. Today I'm in a cemetery in the north of Scotland in the town of Elgin. Come here to explore the ruins of the fascinating cathedral. Just behind me here you can see the Twin Towers. So what we're going to do, we're going to go and look around and ex I'll explain to you about how the cathedral came a ruin, how it may have looked and what there is to see today. That building over there which is half a ruin and half uh, restored, that's where some of the cannons would have lived. So this would have all been part of the cathedral close. And to give you an idea of what it looked like, there's a painting of it all just up here. So there's the main west front of the cathedral. There's two twin towers. I'm just going to go inside them in a minute. Let's have a look here though. Here is the painting of how it would have all looked. So we're currently about there, where we are there, in front of the towers. We're going to go around to that porch and walk in through as if we were a layman coming to visit the cathedral. So as we come around here, we'll see a lot more of the fascinating graveyard. Some very interesting gravestones. I don't know too much about gravestones, but it's something quite interesting just seeing so many different types. Some of them are so big, we'll get onto that later. So as we come around here, there'd have been a porch here, and this is where the layman would have entered the church. So that's why I thought we'd come in this way. So if you look there, those are like the foundation stones of the porch. There would have been an archway here would have come in. So as we walk through here, I'm effectively walking through where the doors would have been. And then you can see roughly where the vaulted ceiling would have gone by the markings on the stonework. So into the main church we go. Now, there's not a great deal left of the nave. There's a bit more of the chancel to see or standing to higher than what we have here. We'll go and have a look there. The, the um, south wall aisle has survived a bit better and so has the south transept. The north transept not so well. So what happened was the church was ransacked, the roof, the lead roof was taken off, it was st stolen, sold for scrap and then that was in the 1500s. The roof eventually blew off and there had been a big central tower in the middle that collapsed destroying the nave. So that's why there's not much of it left today. But the big strong towers above me here, yeah. they're still standing. You can usually go up the tails, but unfortunately they can't today because they're doing some cleaning. I can just about hear a hoover. So it's a bit of a shame we can't go up to the top and see the views, but maybe we can another day. But what we can do is we can go into the towers, we can see some of the things. So if we go into here, some displays of some of the parts of the cathedral they found they've put on display in here. I'm not going to explain what every single one is because admittedly my knowledge isn't so great, but I just thought we'll have a look anyway. But this is quite fascinating. This here, this would have been above the tomb of Bishop Archibald. Now, what you can do to see how it would have looked, you can, they do a light show, so you can bring it all back to life. So, what I should do, I'll press this button down here and we'll see how it may have looked. So stand back. Let me see. It's just saying, in, if you can't see it, in 1298, Bishop Archibald died and he's laid to rest. Oh, I will show you where he was buried, but see, this is how it looked originally. There you go. They've been all painted, but unfortunately a fire ripped through the church and destroyed most of it. But it's really nice they've got this light show to show you how it would have been. When we, as I said, when we get out there, we'll show you where he was buried. Let's now go into the tower, into this little door here. And we're going to go up a spiral staircase, which I always enjoy. Last time we made a video going up a spiral staircase was well, somewhere completely different. We were in Hackney in London. We were up an old church tower there. If you're interested, have a look at the screen now. This is as high as we're going to go today into this little room here. And there's more, all oh, the lights have just come on, more exhibits dating from the 1400s and even 1300s parts of the church they've found. Look at this, this is like a dog. Leave that to warn off evil spirits. I hope they don't want to warn me off that. <laughs> Look at these, these vault bosses in the scene. Quite scary faces. It's 
So we're going to go through here now. Normally you'd be able to go and see a bit more, which as I said, is close to see. We can't go up any further that way today. Maybe another day. What we can do is, it says Northwest Town viewing platform. The Northwest Tower is also close, but we can at least see the viewing platform. So this is as high as we're going to go today. I'm not going to the top, but we can see out over the nave. See the rose window down at the other end of chancel. So, another time perhaps we'll come here, we'll go up to the top. So I really would like to see the from the top, but um, yeah, not today. Let's go back down to ground level. Oh, I like that little arch there. Let's go back down to ground level and we'll continue to explore. There's another one there, look, and explore the ruins. While we're up here, I suppose we might as well point out a few things. So that way is looking east. That would have been just there, the north transept. Behind it is the chapter house. The south transept is just hidden by the south west tower, but we'll go and have a look all around that later. So next time we come, hopefully, we'll take you up the small staircase. But now we're going back down to the ground level. It's quite nice there to be inside the towers. Still, and um, see what we can see. There's not many people here today. It's, it's a weekday in the spring, so it's quite nice. I've got it all to myself. I expect if I came in the summer, there'd be a lot more people here. So that was one of the reasons why I wanted to come here today and see the place. Almost have it to myself. Come up here, and now let's go and look around the main part of the cathedral. So as we walk up the nave, you can see the remains of where these big columns were. So imagine, you know, like your big cathedral. Big, vaulted ceiling and then when we get to the crossing here I said that's the chancel in front of us if we look behind that's where we were a moment ago see those little arches there before just below the big arch above the doors that's as high as we went to today here is that's the north transept there not a lot of it left um, what we'll do we'll go around and we'll go into the south transept so there's the chancel Let's go through here, another section. Oh, we have a look how it would have looked once with this painting here. And um, as they're doing some work, I can't take you right up to it, but I'll show you where Bishop Archibald, whose tomb we saw recreated with light, was buried. If you look just through there, that triangular, that is above his tomb. Nice to see the vaulted ceiling above us still. And there's another tomb there, this one's a bit better preserved. I, really, I just really enjoy exploring ruins. I do like a non-ruined cathedral, but it's just something to me about a ruin. It's just such a fascinating place. I've always, ever since I went to Tintin Abbey, when I was about three years old, I've always, always enjoyed coming to ruins. I just think they're really nice places to be. We'll come this way again now. I'm, I'm taking you around to chapter house. But we need to um, go around. And that's your south transit there. So as you can see, that survived a bit better. It's a better height than the north transit. You've got parts of the windows still in there. And then, as I said, the south transit, not a great deal. The north transit, rather, not a great deal of it left. But the chapter house has survived quite nicely. It's not its original roof, but it's, um, it's here. We can go in here and have a look. So as we come up to here, it says danger, I've been working over here. There actually isn't there anyone, well, perhaps there is, yeah, perhaps there's someone up there, I just couldn't see them. So there's people up there working. Go through here, little room here, I'm not sure what this is. It's a small room, there's a big fireplace in there. But we'll go into the chapter, into the chapter house. So here we are, this is the chapter house. Have a look at the ceiling. If you wonder what the cathedral looked like, have a look there. So that's before the tower collapsed. So the grey, the grey um, drawing is what's no longer there. This coloured drawing, the stone coloured drawing is what has survived. And then there we go. That is how the cathedral looks today. The chapter houses weren't part of Religious services weren't held in chapter houses. They were more for meetings to discuss finances. So they're not, it's not a religious building. Didn't, it's attached to a religious, religious building, you know what I mean? I expect in that door there, there's another spiral staircase. So 
it's not part of what we can see, but maybe another time we'll come here, go up there. What we'll do now is we'll go back, I say go outside, I know we are outside, but we'll go outside of the cathedral to, and we'll have a look at some of the gravestones and then we'll have a bit of a look around. Let's just have a look here. I was going to go out through that door there in the south transept, but I've just noticed over here in the north transept remains of a staircase. Some more interesting graves. I bet you I don't have too much about grave here. Look, there's a, I'll go up this staircase. I just say don't climb on the walls, but as this is a staircase, I don't see, but I would, yeah, but I wouldn't yeah, go off the end of here. But I just come up a staircase. So imagine that would have gone around and around and up there somewhere. Um, let's go back down there. I think the last ruin I went to was um, up in the northeast of England, a thing called Priory over in Durham. I, that was quite an exciting ruin to look around. So if you want to see that video, look at, have a look at the link on screen now. Interesting how it's not symmetrical at all, the transept. They often are, but this one isn't. There's something I really want to show you out there, though. There's the towers. I said about gravestones, there is one out here that really um, is... You've kind of just got to see. Now, where was it? It is somewhere around here. Um, I think it's just around the corner. Lots of gravestones here, but there's one I think is very interesting. Yeah, there it is. Some nice, some marble ones as well. So there's the chancel. Probably the best surviving part of the cathedral. If we make our way around to here, there's one particular gravestone. It's just that little bit different. Have a look at this one here. This is the tallest gravestone in Scotland. I almost could joke and say it's taller than the towers, but that's just the angle of the camera. So yeah, the tallest gravestone in Scotland. It's at least twice the height of me, so it's probably about 12 foot high. So that's quite an impressive feature. You just sort of don't get gravestones like this down in England. You might in perhaps Highgate Cemetery, but you certainly wouldn't in so many of your average churchyards. I'm not saying you don't get any, but this really is quite a fascinating place to be. There's also, you get these, um, what must be like a family sort of um, area. It's like a little room. There was one of them there. So look in this one. So you sort of effectively go in to a room of graves. So yeah, there's a small room here. So this must have belonged to one of the families or probably one of the clans, as they'd say in Scotland. I know my, I've got some Scottish blood going back a long, long way. And I know my family have connections to one of the clans. Um, admittedly, I don't know which one, though. There you get a general view of the cathedral. Another spiral staircase there in the chancel. I'd love to go up there, but again, that's not open to the public. So pretty much shown you everything. Oh, and over there, there's a modern bridge on the road outside over the river Lossie. It goes up to Loss Lossiemouth. You may have heard of RAF Lossiemouth. Um, so yeah, I'm going to now make my way back through the town centre, back to the railway station, and catch the train back to Inverness. Oh, there's another gate out there. That's part of the cathedral close. Just see over there where that car just drove past. That's one of the old cathedral gates. So from behind Elgin Cathedral. Thank you very much for watching. As I said, if you are up here, it's about, if you come by train, it's about 15 minute walk from the railway station. Now again, it's quite an interesting town to look around anyway. So thank you very much for watching. Please do feel free to like, subscribe and comment. And from Elgin Cathedral, goodbye.